Hello, 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 buddy. It's I, JMalls of JMalls Gaming here with a new video for Final Fantasy XIV. And today, I want to do a bit more of a wish list style video for a feature of this game that has been kind of relegated to the wayside if you don't do PvP. And that is the Grand Company system. For those who are unaware, maybe you're new to the game. The Grand Company is essentially a you're like mini faction that you pick at around level 20 in the game. You pick this all the way back in a Realm Reborn, and you have the option of three. You have the Old Da, Immortal Flames, you have the Limsal Minson Maelstrom, and you have the Gridanian Twin Adder, Order the Twin Adder. Now, for a while, I was Twin Adder, but I went over to Maelstrom recently because I watched Pirates of the Caribbean, and I kind of already maxed out. I've already gotten the Serpent Captain for Twin Adder, so I'm like, I'll, I'll just do it for Maelstrom as well. And as I've been thinking about this, I'm like, you know what? There's a lot of potential in this system that I feel is being underutilized in the current game and with current updates. And from what we have been told about Endwalker seems to continue to be kind of, not necessarily, well, yeah, I think ignored is the right word here. I don't know if they just don't want to update it, if they just feel as if moving away from having this system is better for the overall health of the game or if they don't really want to iterate on it any further, but I feel like there's some things they could do that in, that aren't really game-changing, but just to help keep the system more relevant. Because generally nowadays, if you don't do PvP, you're picking your grand company for your aesthetic or for the city or for the, gra or for the glamour. I went twin at it because I started off as a Lancer in Gridania, so I'm like, okay, I'll just pick the one for the city state I was at. I was in, because if these two don't match, for some reason, that freaking bugs me. And it still kind of bugs me right now. So I'll probably go back to Tornada, but for right now, a Maelstrom. And honestly, that's because of, like, one thing. This set is freaking cool. Let me just equip this real quick. I really like this set, and I kind of want to get it. And you can only use this set if you're Maelstrom. And besides, this literally means almost nothing. <clears throat> you might get like a couple of dialogue changes, but outside of that, really doesn't have any effect. Which I don't mind necessarily. Because most people, when they start this game, will pick their character based on what class they want, not what city state that class comes from. Maybe they don't. It depends on the person. So, let's get into this list of things that I feel they could do just to keep this system of the Grand Companies relevant. And number one is just by adding more glamour, and they don't really need to add that much. Maybe like a new set every, every tier, or hell, maybe even an expansion. Maybe. I don't know, I don't know how much work that would be, but I don't feel like it would be that difficult to add one new piece of glamour that you can just throw up on the Quartermaster. Maybe help expand on these additional ranks. By maybe using the barrack system. Which is essentially just a mission table from World of Warcraft. With a few more steps and a little bit more intricacy. Because you have to actually train people. And recruit more people, which is actually kind of cool. Just like expand, maybe expand on that and just add more to that. So you can go all the way up to the max rank here. Because I'm pretty sure there's no way to actually get to champion. So expand on this. I feel like you can get pretty decent amount of content, just side content, like you don't need to make it mandatory or anything, just for people that want to do it, and want something new to do. And, you know, we have these umbrellas. Oh, I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a minute to find these things. Where are you? But yeah, we have these umbrellas in this game already, with the fashion accessories. Maybe expand on this, and have something unique for all the grand companies, like maybe a parasol for each grand company. You know, something like that. Maybe a little banner that you could have on the back of your character. Maybe. I don't know. Just, again, I feel like if they lean more into the visuals and aesthetic side of things, then it would be better than if they forced a game change and make the Grand Companies more relevant to the end game mechanical experience. If they just make it a side piece of content that you can... Like it kind of is right now. But make it, but just add more to it. I feel like that would be for the best. Also, this 
I admit, is extremely unlikely in my opinion, though I would like to see it. I'd like to see an Ishgard and Alamigo Grand Company. Ishgard, for me, is my favorite city-state, but I have to pick from the original three city-states we have. I don't know, maybe some people like Alamigo as well. Just, like, set up one, one of these shops and give some, like, glamour for them as well. I'd like to see that as well. Also, just, like, maybe remove this. I don't know. It, it's, like, a non-issue, right? It's just, it annoys me when it says City States Gridania, but you set, well, you're for the grand company of a different city state. It's just something whenever I open up the profile tab. I like having aesthetic unity. You know? Like, I don't like to have a lot of mishmash, that kind of stuff, with my aesthetics. I like to be more uniform, and having this be different is just a little annoying for me. Yeah, it's kind of a shame just to see that this system has been largely neglected outside of PvP in modern times. And even then, I think it's just dependent upon what team you rep when you go into a PvP battle. I don't think it needs that much more development. I don't need. I don't think they need to really focus in on grand companies and just and produce a ton of content for them. I think they just need to do something to keep it a little bit more relevant. And just to, just so it doesn't feel like it was like a guild hest where they are really mainly just relegated to a Realm Reborn content and content surrounding a Realm Reborn. That's kind of what the Grand Companies feel like right now. Granted, you can go to level 60 in the barracks, so it's technically Heaven Sword there. But I feel like there's more you can do here. Like, maybe instead of using... Because they have the trust system, right? For Shadowbringers Dungeons. Maybe allow us to use our characters we recruit in the barracks for trust dungeons as well. Like, maybe, like, merge those two systems in a way. I think that'd be cool. So, if those for those who want to use the Signs of the Seventh Dawn for current dungeons, they can. But if the, you want to use your... Barracks companions and people you've recruited and trained. Like, let them use that as well. It's another way just to help make the Grand Company system feel more relevant, in my opinion. I think that would be pretty cool. Maybe you can do something in terms of housing along those lines. Like, make it... Like, if you're a member of that Grand Company, maybe you can get... Like, a little apart... Like, a free apartment in that area. But if you want an apartment in... Say, old Dao, but you're in the, with the Maelstrom, then you have to pay, like, 500000 I think that'd be co that could be kind of cool. Like, a little of incentive just to be with that grand company, you know? Outside of, like, the standard gear we already have. So, yeah. Like I said, now, there's not much, I think, that needs to be added to the system to make it feel modern and to make it feel relevant. Lean more into the visual side of things. Maybe add some more glamour. Maybe add some more... ...accessories or fashion accessories. Maybe make some more chocobo armors. Maybe make a mount... Maybe make an additional mount or something for each grand company. Outside of just the chocobo. Maybe make a couple more minions or something. Just something visual to where it's not going to affect your end game. Progression that you can just do when you want to when you have some downtime or say you don't feel like doing raiding or PvE content I can just go bash out some grand company stuff and Grind these up to like level 80 or 90 that be cr pretty cool in my opinion And I feel like there's a lot of potential With this grand company system that's kind of being ignored So I just wanted to get this video out there just give my thoughts and opinions on Grand Companies. I do like the system. It's like I like how it's not like, wow, where all the three Grand Companies are at war and you're kind of like working together. I like how you can just like pick and choose and go back and forth every month or so. I just feel like it needs a little bit more. And I feel with a little bit more development, they have something really cool and compelling here. Because I like the visuals and aesthetics of the Maelstrom. I like the red and black color scheme. So I'd like to be Maelstrom, but there's not much incentive for me to go to Maelstrom and like rank this up to Storm Captain when I was already like Serpent Captain, you know? Outside of the Aetherite and Limsa Lominsa being like right next to the shopping district. 
that honestly that was one of the main things that just tilt put me over the edge and went and went with Maelstrom for now. So yeah, those are my thoughts and my opinions. If you have different ones, please leave them in the comment down below. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more content. I know I would appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Have a great day and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye everybody.